Hello, Leo, and welcome to your reading for what message is meant to find you right now. Remember that this reading does not necessarily have any specific date on it. Whenever this message finds you, and whenever you find this message, then this reading will be for you at this given time. You are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. You have here the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so here with the Eight of Pentacles, let me just show you, there is this kind of energy where it's time for you to put in the work, put in the effort into something, whether it's an idea, a relationship. I see that you're very focused, hard at work. For some of you guys, it might be career-related, family-related, love-related, whatever this is for you. But I do see that there is some kind of energy of focus, focusing in on the details, getting the job done until you get to the very end, okay? Now, for some, you might be dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, doesn't have to be. But let's go ahead and take from this other deck. And this other deck will give us a general influence, okay, that is basically around your entire reading. What is the general influence here? So you have here sexuality, okay? Now here with sexuality, this has to do with some kind of aspect of you, the connection, the relationship, whatever this is, where you have to get back in tune in touch with that energy of sexuality basically okay intimacy now here with sexuality this is also the number 62 six seven eight okay so the number eight it's almost as if it's asking you okay right now to look at yourself to see what is it that in your life right now is asking of you to open up some kind of energy here where perhaps there is some kind of stall in sexuality there's kind of some questioning of sexuality for some maybe there is a lack of emotional intimacy of sexual intimacy and for others perhaps it's too much okay what i'm seeing here is you need to start putting in the work into your sexuality sexuality for some also represents your attraction it does not necessarily have to be being physically sexual with another person it can of course but again this is sexuality this is the energy surrounding your entire reading if you are in a relationship right now the focus should be on putting in more work and more effort on making yourself more attractive okay more sexually desired by the other person by somebody here that maybe you want to captivate attention from and or it could also be working on that aspect of yourself maybe you are not really being sexual you're not really um fulfilling that part of you this is always important since we are human beings okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put this one on the side and let's continue your reading but that's very interesting you know here with sexuality because a lot of people uh, that come to me for readings, they they don't really mention sexuality as being part of sometimes the issue or um, you know something here that they might want to talk about because for many people talking about their sexuality it's not comfortable okay so this is kind of exposing something here in an area of your life perhaps this has to do also with some of you where there is something lacking maybe you don't feel sexually desired you don't feel um like you desire to have that connection sexually perhaps there's a lack of that energy that is needed in order to make something grow okay into more now i do see here at the bottom of the deck there's the eight of wands okay here with the eight of wands there's going to be an opening up of communication fast forward moving energy if there has been a stall in communication don't worry because again the lines of communication are going to start opening up okay texting back and forth a phone call you know whatever it is rehashing something conversations leading to more it's a lot of fast forward moving energy so a lot of communication a lot of celebration being around people being around loved ones social type of energy going to a party that sort of thing now i am seeing here in your first kind of energy where it's surrounding your reading it's the tower okay so you do have the tower here now the tower in this particular reading it's very interesting because something shocking is going to happen there's some kind of shocking revelation for you in an area of your life again it could be family related love related you know it could be career related whatever this is but the tower has to do with something here that is falling apart something here that you thought was stable something here that perhaps was stable at one point okay but now there's something here that is about to happen it's going to shock you it's going to 
kind of bring in a wake up call. This is a wake up call. Hey, snap out of it. Something is crumbling. Okay. It could be unpre, you know, not predicted. Uh, it could also be the fact that you already foresaw this for the most of you. I feel like subconsciously you kind of knew this was going to happen, but some part of you was avoiding it. Okay. Because you don't want to deal with the consequences for a group of you guys, it has to do with sexuality. Perhaps there is, you know, something that you will be finding out where, um, you know, it could be that you need help in that area. And again, like I said, for most people, it's an uncomfortable topic, but it's showing up in your reading very, very clearly. Now in your challenge position, I do see here the five of swords. Okay. It's going to be challenging for you to walk away from a situation that is conflicting. Okay. There's going to be a disagreement between you and a person between you and, you know, an environment. And I do sense that it's going to be challenging for you to give up and give in. Okay. Now we're going to figure out what is advised here for you, but I do see that you're going to enter some kind of conflict. Okay. There's some kind of disagreement. It could be in communication, in conversation, in agreement, you know, that you might need to come to terms with that. Maybe you're just not ready for, or the other person, the other party, the other group of people are not ready for. We're going to figure that out. The Knight of Pentacles here in reverse. I am picking up on the energy where it's interesting because somebody here who may have made a promise is not ready to deliver on this promise. And also it's reminding you, you might want something that you are not ready for. Okay. You might be desiring something, but you need to plan for this. Okay. This is telling you, you need to start planning. You need to start strategizing. Don't take any impulsive action forward because again, you already have the tower moment here. You don't want to make it any worse. Now I do also see here the hermit reverse. Now here with the hermit reverse, this is a root of the issue. This basically is related to your challenge. Okay. The root of the issue is the fact that somebody here has not yet learned a lesson. Okay. There has been some time of an interim period where you went into hermit mode. Maybe this other person went into hermit mode. Remember that energies can be reversed either you towards them, them towards you. It is a general reading. So take it as it resonates, but there is some kind of energy here where some person here, uh, an individual has not yet learned a lesson. They are resistant to learning that lesson. Okay. It's kind of like not wanting to go into hermit mode, not avoiding going into that energy of solitude, because a lot of times, you know, when you're used to right now, I'm going to give a relationship as an example, right? If you're in a relationship, if you're in a marriage, okay. And you know, you're around each other all the time. Okay. And you see each other every day. Uh, and there's some kind of disagreement. Sometimes being around that same energy all the time doesn't help you or an, and or that person come to your own conclusions about the solution because you're around that same energy. So there's this kind of mm, vibration that I'm picking up on where it, it's, it's, it has needed some kind of solitude either from your part or the other person's part. And somebody here is avoiding that. Okay. And the more that you push it away, the more, the bigger that it gets basically. Okay. The more that you want to sweep it under the rug, the bigger that it becomes. Okay. Now this could be again, related to sexuality. It doesn't have to be now here with the page of wands reversed in your past, in your recent past, I am picking up on the energy where it's kind of like, you know, the energy of somebody here who may have wanted to send out a message, but then they kind of backed away. Okay. It's kind of like you felt enthusiastic. Something's going to work out. Something good is going to happen out of this. And then, you know, nothing really, nothing really fruitful came out of this. Okay. It's kind of like you were just sitting there waiting. Okay. So this is in your recent past. I do feel like you were dealing with um, a person who is a little bit juvenile. Okay. Perhaps this individual expected something from you. Okay. There were some kind of expectations or, or it could also be that you expected something from them. Now coming towards you, I do see here the page of swords. So this is all about doing the research, communicating. Okay. It's going it, to, the time has come basically for you to really 
do the research, make sure to get all of the information that you need before taking action. Right now it's all about communication, it's all about you know, investigation, that sort of thing before making any move. I also see that perhaps you're watching somebody or somebody here is watching your social media. It could also be the energy where somebody here is waiting for the other person to act or react in order for them to speak up, okay? It's kind of like, okay, I'm waiting for the right timing for this to happen or for me to do this or that. Now, I also see here in your subconsciousness, you have the Four of Cups reversed, okay? Here with the Four of Cups reversed, there is some kind of opportunity that you took, okay? Or that you are ready to take right now, okay? Or that you are taking. It's some kind of opportunity that you want to take in order to resolve this. It's kind of like you want to avoid this tower moment from happening, okay? By taking this opportunity. But I do sense that this opportunity it's kind of interesting because this opportunity that I do see here, it, it's not ready yet, okay? It's not yet ready. There's more information that needs to come to the light. There's more research that you need to start doing. Now, I also see here the death. So somebody here sees a situation as an ending. The way that a person sees you is, okay, you know what? This is over and done with. They see this as an ending. They see this as completion, okay? It could be Scorpio energy for some, doesn't have to be, but I do see something here is coming to an end if it hasn't if it hasn't already. I mean, you have the tower here, you have the death here, and here with the high priestess, your action advice is listen to your intuition, okay? Make sure that you don't just utilize your your mental capacity, make sure to also use your intuition. Intuitively, you're going to get signs, signals, synchronicities of what it, what it is that you need to do. Could be Pisces energy for some, but here also with the Knight of Swords, this is basically your outcome energies, okay? There's going to be a moment where you're going to have to take action. It's gonna be a very fast forward moving message that you're gonna be getting, okay? I do sense that it's kind of like, uh, it's gonna feel like, okay, the pressure is on, now what am I gonna do, okay? So that's why I'm saying start planning ahead right now, start strategizing, because when this rapid information, rapid message, okay, comes in, you're going to have to act quickly. I'm picking up on the energy very quickly where there's some kind of vibe where either you or somebody is going to get triggered, okay? If you are the one who gets triggered, I do feel very strongly that you're going to want to either argue or they're going to want to argue with you. It's something here where it's like two people butting heads, you know, just coming to some kind of disagreement. But let's go ahead and look into this eight of pentacles to clarify. Okay, so you have here the four of wands, the seven of wands, as well as the queen of pentacles reverse. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, you have here the two of cups reverse. So like I've already mentioned, the two of cups reverse, there is a disconnect, emotional disconnect. If you're wondering what is it about this person that, you know, perhaps what's going on with them or why is this connection not working out? It has to do with sexuality, okay? It has to do with either they're not satisfied sexually, you're not satisfied sexually, or, you know, vice versa, okay? So there is some kind of energy here where there is an emotional disconnect. Yes, there was once an emotional bond, but right now there is a disconnect, okay? That is happening between two soulmates, okay? It's no longer working at this moment. Now, I do also see here, this has to do with a group of you guys for a marriage, okay? In a marriage, excuse me. So it could be a marriage here. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. It could also be the sign of Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But whatever sign this is, I do see that with the four of wands, interesting, you know, it's kind of like there was at one point, there was some kind of stability between you and this other individual, but I do feel like very strongly you were letting yourself be walked all over. Okay. There's this energy where, you know, your guides, your angels were nudging you. Okay. You know, put your foot down. Don't let them step all over you. Um, you know, set their ground rules and you were just not doing this. Okay. Again, it could be vice versa, but somebody here was not really listening to their intuition. And therefore I do see here the queen of pentacles reverse. Somebody here is going to be 
kind of very materially focused, okay? I do see that there is this kind of energy where somebody here is going to either want money from you, ask money from you, or for others of you guys, it could also be that this individual right now is just focused on money, on finances, on, okay, what's gonna make me feel secure? How can you make them feel secure? That sort of thing. There's some kind of energy where this individual towards you they find uh, stability through you, okay? Now, it's very interesting also to see, I'm picking up on different energies right now, where for some of you, it could possibly be the fact that this individual is only around you whenever they can benefit from you, okay? And then whenever they can't, it's like they're gone, okay? So there's this energy here where somebody is giving more and the other person is just taking okay and you're not really receiving so if you are if you are that person i do see that there's something that you need to start planning ahead okay because i feel very strongly that this individual already sees the situation as an ending if you still don't they already do it's kind of like they already are you know exiting the door it's kind of you know um, reminding me it's very interesting. Sometimes, you know, people enter marriages uh, for just finances, right? And, you know, whether, you know, the male wants to be financially supported by the female or vice versa, usually it's vice versa. Um, and not necessarily just because of that, but this is just the specific example. Um, it could be anything related though. And so let's say that person who was financially supportive uh, loses his job, right? So then that person who was only there for that leaves, you know? So there's something here where someone was benefiting, okay, from the other person. And now that things are not really working out, okay, it's kind of like, okay, well, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking at the exit, that sort of thing, because the death is here. Let's go ahead and further clarify why this is all happening. So you have here the Knight of Cups reversed, the, the King of Cups reversed, the Six of Pentacles, as well as the Ace of Cups. Exactly. You were helping this person a lot or you are helping, okay? It's kind of like you're helping this individual through something that they're going through while this person is being emotionally manipulative with you. They make promises or at least somebody here made promises that were unkept that they could not keep and they're not giving to the, to the connection on an emotional level, okay? It could be sexually you know, related, it doesn't have to be, but again, because sexuality is here, it has to do with a lack of sexuality. This person, you know, I do see that there's somebody who is cut off emotionally, okay, while the other one keeps giving, okay? Now, at the bottom of the deck, it's just confirmation. This person, I mean, I've just got to say it the way that I see it. There is no emotional bond, okay, from, from them. There is just a lack of emotions, uh, it could also be for some where this was only a sexual thing, right? Perhaps that was the benefit for them. Perhaps they were just in it for sexual reasons. And now that things are getting serious or things are not working out or things are shifting, that person's like, okay, well, I'm looking at the exit. I'm out. Okay. So either or I do see that this person is not involved in this uh, emotionally. Okay. Rather, they are looking for some kind of you know, benefit, you know, it's just based on whatever it is that, that they need. Okay. Now, before we end your reading, go ahead and ask a question and I'm going to go ahead and give you a yes or no. So is this a yes or no? That's a, okay. That is a definite yes. So you need to liberate yourself from the situation. Okay. Because I see that you're stuck. You feel stuck. You feel like, when is this going to end? You know, interestingly enough, I see the eight of swords in this particular situation in your particular reading as you being in a situation, again, it could be a relationship, a friendship, family, you know, related matters, career related matters, whatever it is, where there's something here that you feel like you've given a lot of energy to. And because you've given a lot of energy to this, it's not easy for you to just say, okay, you know what? I quit. I let, I'm letting go, okay? Because you know that your work, your hard work and your hard effort have been implemented in this connection, in this situation, whatever this is. But this is telling you the more that you wait, the more that that tower is, is crumbling, okay? Right before your very eyes. So it's very interesting to see this because what this Eight of Swords is telling you is you need to liberate yourself, okay? You want liberation 
and it's not going to be easy. Okay. But it's going to start with the first step, which is planning. You have to plan your exit, whatever this is from or whoever this is from. Okay. But that is a definite yes, whatever it is question that you ask. All right, now let's go ahead and roll the dice to see what the dice has here for you. You have here the sign of Gemini as well as the number 11. Okay. So for some of you here with the number 11, it's it's kind of very interesting because I do feel very strongly that you're going to have to seek out friends. Okay. Seek out friends, seek out. Also, I'm picking up on the energy where you're going to have to talk to people that can advise you. Okay. This is kind of like an advisor. And I also see that you need to start planning for the future. It's kind of like, um, you know, that energy of, implementing some progressive changes, some changes to the situation. For some, it could possibly be that you might want to save this connection. And now that you know that it's sexual related, you can go seek help to a doctor, whatever it is. Okay. For others of you, it's also just kind of confiding in a friend, confiding in a counselor, confiding in an advisor. Okay. To see sometimes just talking to people makes you feel better. Okay. And it kind of gives you the answer. You give yourself the answer by just divulging, you know, those secrets or divulging whatever information it is that you've been keeping to yourself. So here with the number 11, you're going to have to seek out some kind of counsel, some kind of help, friendships, whatever that is for you. Now here with the sign of Gemini communication, you're going to have to use that power of communication to really get your point across. Okay. And also remember that communication is a two way street. It's not just about what you have to say, but it's also about listening. Okay. Listening to what that person and they have to say to you. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and now end your reading with an angel guidance message. You have here the number 20. If you see the number two o'clock on the clock, okay, this is a message for you. I am har harmonious. You relate to others on an almost cosmic level, okay? It does say uh, you are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. I am harmonious. So somebody here who wants to start conflict with you, since I've, I'm already seeing that, okay, or there's going to be some kind of shocking revelation, make sure to keep the harmony. Okay. Make sure to plan things out. That's why I'm saying plan it out, strategize, because if you foresee that somebody wants to argue with you, you are more likely to stay calm. Okay. You are more likely to say, okay, you know what? That person's going to want to argue. So if they start arguing, I'm just going to stay calm. I'm going to stay put and I'm not going to get into that argument. So I am harmonious. You use your power of communication in a harmonious way. Beautiful. This is what I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed your reading and I hope that it clarified a lot of information that perhaps you were thinking, was this going to happen? Is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? Now, if you are interested in watching the extended reading, the extended link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psychic Source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below.